Hey y'all, welcome back to the Lucy Bird channel. Today I am talking to the beginner quilter, someone who hasn't quite gotten started yet in quilting and sees an overwhelming amount of things to buy in the store to get started. So what exactly do you need to get started? Well, I feel like I'm the perfectly qualified professional for this because when I was an eight year old, I gave a 4-H presentation called So What? And it was the top 10 sewing supplies you needed in 1988 to get started in your sewing journey. You know, honestly, not a lot has changed, but quilting is a little bit different than sewing, so there are a few other notions that you may need to get started. So, first thing you need is a fabric scissors. Something sharp, something dedicated only to fabric, do not let anyone in your house cut paper or anything else with it. Next up, threads. I use a 100% cotton thread because when you're quilting, you're typically using 100% cotton quilting weight fabric. So you want to match the type of thread with your fabric and for quilting, that's cotton. These come in a variety of colors. They come in a variety of spool sizes. I love Aurifil, it's my favorite brand. Next up, you need a pin and pin cushions. Nothing fancy, but you'll use these a lot as you secure pieces together to help you get um, an even seam allowance in there. Next up, seam ripper. It's inevitable, you're gonna need to use this along the way. Needles, a sharp needle in your machine is going to be key for great stitching. General rule of thumb, every time you finish a large project, change your needle. Next up is rotary cutters. My two favorite sizes are the larger 60 millimeter and the 45 millimeter. You'll notice there are other sizes and you'll notice there are different shapes. Just pick something that fits your hand well. I like to use this for larger projects where I may be cutting through multiple layers of fabric. And this is my personal favorite because it, I feel like it helps me cut precisely when I cut some pretty tiny pieces. Along with your rotary cutters are acrylic rulers. So many different shapes and sizes of these out there. So what's good to get started? I have three that I recommend. First one is six and a half inches by six and a half inches. Perfect for cutting small pieces or squaring up a six and a half inch square block. Next is the 12 and a half by 12 and a half, which perfect for some larger pieces. Often when you're getting started, um, you're working with some 10 inch squares. This is a great way to get them cut precisely. And then for getting through your yardage is a six and a half by 24 and a half. So uh, this is usually the most common width of a self-healing mat. So I love this one too. Speaking of self-healing mat, only use rotary cutters on self-healing mat. So invest in one of these. Mine is 36 inches by 24 inches, and I feel that's a pretty good size for getting started. Next up, pens and pencils. Nothing fancy, they're just great for marking your pattern along the way, or even marking a fabric for maybe making a half square triangle, something like that. And then lastly is a quarter inch presser foot. So this is usually a separate foot that you buy for your machine, but the edge of it gives you a perfect quarter inch foot. And you'll find that most quilting patterns call for a quarter inch seam allowance. So this is a good investment and they're not that expensive either. Well, I think we've updated the top 10 list. If you'd like to print off your own for when you go shopping, you can head on over to my website. I've done a full blog post kind of providing some more details on all of the top 10s I've highlighted here today. And a great place to shop for these is at your local quilt store. They're gonna be an awesome resource for you as you continue on in your quilting journey. Or you can of course find all of these supplies on places like Amazon, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, stores like that. Join me again for more videos on tips and tutorials. I'm Steph and I'm the Lucy Bird.